Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My talk this afternoon would be just an information sharing session. Um, maybe very little relevance to media convergence, because this is purely on uh, development in Sabah. That's also the topic given to me. Um, the topic is on uh, Sabah Development Corridor. Uh, so Sabah Development Corridor is supported by three principles. That is to capture high value economic activities, uh, to promote balanced uh, economic growth with uh, distribution, and to ensure sustainable growth through environmental conservation. Now, the implementation, implementation of Sabah Development Corridor will be over an 18 year period from the year 2000 and 2008 to uh, 2010. Uh, phase one of the implementation is to basically to um, lay out the foundation for growth. That means to uh, put in place all the infrastructure that's necessary to, uh, for the implementation of high impact projects and also poverty eradication projects. And um, by uh, the second phase, uh, it would be moving Sabah towards higher order value added activities with the presence of global companies and also uh, emergence that base of SMEs. And by 2025, Sabah is uh, expected to emerge as an attractive destination for foreign direct investments with uh, strong infrastructure support and also uh, a really pool of knowledge uh, workforce. Now the, the vision of Sabah Development Corridor is to increase the GDP four times by end of 2025 and increase the, and triple the GDP per capita um, and also uh, to create uh, jobs, uh, 900,000 jobs. Now, oh, um, with the launching of the Economic Transform Transformation Program by Prime Minister, the uh, corridor development projects have also been uh, streamlined. So, likewise, the Sabah Development Corridor, the focus area now is on tourism, oil and gas, farm oil, manufacturing and logistics, agriculture and uh, education. Now, um, unlike other development corridors, uh, the Sabah Development Corridors uh, covers the whole of Sabah. So in the east coast, we have the uh, Kinabalu Golf Course Enclave, and towards the south, the Brunei Bay Integrated Development Area. And in the central region, there is the uh, Interior Food Valley. And uh, in the west coast, uh, there are the Bayal Triangle and uh, Agro Marine Dome. In uh, the Gold Coast Enclave, basically, is uh, aimed for development of um, high end tourism. Uh, th this is targeted at um, eco adventure tourists and also second, second home buyers of uh, luxury villas and um, chalets. Now, the, in the Brunei Bay Integrated Development, this is uh, actually it's a cluster of uh, oil and gas activities. Now, with the discovery of oil fields of Sabah, there are ample opportunities in um, oil and gas related activities, including uh, petrochemical uh, industries. And uh, Petronas has been a key player in the oil industry in Sabah. It is developing a Sabah ammonia nuclear plant uh, costing some uh, one US 1.5 billion dollars. And um, the Sabah Oil and Gas Terminal is part of the Sabah Sarawak uh, Integrated Oil and Gas Project, which in, in also involves the uh, Sabah Sarawak Gas Pipeline. Uh, it's an onshore uh, gas pipeline from uh, the oil and gas that uh, 
received from offshore Sabah, uh, especially uh, the case would be channeled to Sarawak, the Bintulu uh, terminal. Now, in the interior foot uh, valley, the biggest project now is being undertaken is the, uh, the livestock center. And this is uh, to become the biggest in Malaysia when it's fully operational because it's going to cover uh, some 800 hectares. Um, the idea is to, to make it to become an, uh, the ideal breeding center for cattle and also uh, for dairy cattle. Uh, in the bio triangle area, the, the project has been taking place is uh, education hub. Uh, the government has uh, designated an area of 500 hectares um, for the construction of uh, colleges and uh, higher institutions of learning and also uh, R&D institutions. Now, in, in over in the East Coast, there are two projects that are going on. Uh, one is the Marine Integrated Cluster. The U.S. Uh, Darden Company is investing uh, two billion ringgit in the uh, culture of lobsters in a town called Sampona. So th this project, when it, it uh, goes into full operation, is expected to bring in revenue of uh, three billion ringgit a year. And uh, also in the East Coast, we have the Palmer Industrial Cluster. Uh, this Palmer Industrial Cluster is Palmer is actually is a very important industry in Sabah because. It contributes um, four, 4 billion to the, our state revenue. And also Sabah is the single largest uh, state having the, the biggest area under oil pump cultivation. It's uh, 1.5 million hectares. Now, uh, Sabah has been doing quite, quite well uh, from economically from uh, 2008 up to 2013. Now, the GDP in 2008 was uh, recorded at 10.7, which is better than the Malaysia um, GDP at 4.8%. Uh, even during the uh, economic crisis, the subprime crisis in 2009, the uh, Sabah's GDP uh, was recorded at 4.8%. Whereas Malaysia is in a ne negative 1.5 category. Of course, in the next two years, uh, the GDP dipped because of uh, negative growth in the manufacturing and agricultural sector. Uh, but it came back strongly in uh, 2012, of uh, 4.1%. Um, for 2013, the official figure is not available yet, but the government expects it to be uh, 4 to 4.5%. Now, uh, since the implementation of the Sabah Development Corridor, uh, it has attracted uh, 128 billion ringgit investment, of which uh, about 38 billion was committed, meaning that the, those, the real money that was invested in the corridor. And of those projects, the oil, gas and energy took up 56.3%, which is the largest share of the investment. Now, uh, this, now, the labor, labor force in Sabah has been growing uh, from 2008 up to 2012, uh, going annually at uh, 1.2 million to 1.5 uh, million. And then employment uh, is from 1.2 million, also growing yearly to 1.4 million. And up, of course, the uh, unemployment rate has gone up uh, in 2009 because of the subprime crisis, but then it, it had uh, gone down to 5.4 percent. Now, the Sabah's uh, mean monthly household income of 4,013 in 2012 actually is an increase of uh, uh, 41 percent from uh, 2007, and this is not incidental because of the uh, implementation of Sabah Development Corridor projects. Uh, and poverty rate 
It has gone down drastically from 19.5% in year 2007 to 8.1% in 2012. Uh, in summary, it can be seen that you know the uh, total GDP has grown from 35.3 billion to 44.4 billion in 2012. What this means is the summer economy is growing. The employ employment people are being employed uh, also growing, and um, because of the opportunities in, uh, in Sabah, so I would think this uh, would provide opportunities for media planners and uh, advertisers and how to uh, optimize the opportunities. Thank you very much.